Hey folks, Asia the CEO here, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the new three outlet CASA TP Link Smart Wi Fi Power Strip. That's a very long name, so let's go. Hey folks, Asia the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. And don't forget to smash that like button if you like the content that we're doing and that we constantly bring to you to modernize your media ministry. So... Um, in this other video, I talk about how I use a whole bunch of these smart outlets here at my apartment, and I also have them retrofitted at my church to remotely control a couple of things to save just in case if things are left on um, and all this other fun stuff like that. So I am looking at, well, I was pleasantly surprised when I saw these new three outlet ones. I was um I have the normal five one. I have two under my desk right here and I have one at my church. But there's some other functions that I want to add in there. So for example at our church we have two stacks of equipment. We have our main um mini tower that handles all of our AV equipment, which is covered and turns on via a smart switch that I um, used in this video to show you how I did that. But then we also have our main sound system that I use some plugs um, that are completely separate from this whole system to turn on with switches downstairs. Now, ultimately, my goal is to replace those and put everything on this brand of products so that everything is exactly the same. Um, and right now, if somebody left the sound system on, you can't turn that on remotely. I can't turn it on over my phone or anything like that. It's just separate. What I want to do is replace, just like that switch that I um, put together, I want to replace the outlet downstairs that turns the light on leading into the media booth to connect to one of these and I need another outlet or something to do that. So still trying to think through that, but I need this in place anyway. And this was a good chance to review this. So I got two of them um, right now and I'm ultimately might get a third. I don't know. Um, the main thing I need right now is one of these is going to go into our Hollyland intercom system so that I can leave it on, but I can turn it on just like everything else does in our equipment, as well as I want to put our battery charger for our um, remote control, well, rechargeable batteries for all our mics on another one and have that be on a time cycle as well. And then currently this other one, um, I have like a standalone TP link one that's going to, that plugs into, I forgot what it plugs into, but I want to plug it into this and then the two rack mounts, I want to plug into the other one. So that's probably not what you're really here for. You're probably here to see what's inside the box. So let's go ahead and cut over and let's see what's going on with those. All right. So these just came in. Actually, they probably were in. I took a nap after my um, Q&A and I just woke up. So... See what's inside here. All right, very straightforward. Just one piece of foam or whatever for packing, and we have the device. Now, the good thing is, since all of these are set up on my phone, I can actually set it up now and then just take it to church, and we'll be good to go. All right, so we got this other right here to protect the prongs, and that's really it. I don't know if, if this is kind of like a, I think the other one is kind of glossy. This is more like of a matte finish, but either way, we have two USB connections here. Um, I really wish they would give you functionality to turn these on and off, but oh well. Really straightforward. So let's go ahead and plug this in, and I kind of don't want to do this because I need to put this on my network. 
anyway at church, but oh well, I'll reset it so we can show you the whole process. Now the other thing before I do this is the other one actually has a power button that you can turn on and off. This one does not have any type of power. It just comes on immediately. Yeah, so there's no power button at all for here. So, All right, so we got the light blinking here. I'm going to have to set it on the floor because I don't have any space up here to reach all the way up there. And we're going to go ahead and bring over my phone here. And we're going to add a new um, device on here. All right, so I already have the TP Link stuff here. Let's do plus. And we're going to add a new device. Um, smart plug. Smart power strip. And is it blinking? Yes, it is. Next. Let it be detected here. And yep, that's it. Let's go ahead and connect. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to have to put it on my um, stuff for right now. When I get to my church, I'm going to have to move it over to the other one. And what? Okay, it says connect. I was. I got kicked off because... Huh? Okay. I don't know about it. It said connect to your main network, and I was. So anyway, um, I don't need to customize these right now. And, wow, that was simple. I don't know why it was a little mix up there with the um, Wi-Fi. But that's it. All right, and we got a firmware update. We're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to plug the other one in and do the exact same thing. So again, this is going to be for the intercom system at church, the Hollyland. And we're also going to plug in my the um, rechargeable battery charger so that that's on a schedule so that it will make sure that everything is charged, but it doesn't stay on all the time. All right, power strip. Do it in groups. The one thing I wish they would add is a delay. Um, that way I can turn everything on and then it puts a delay in between. And I thought I just saw a delay. Oh, that's just for a time. Yeah, I wish they could say you turn on outlet number one at this time and then another one changes, something like that. I would really like that. Um, I just need to see which one is which. All right, so that's the plug at the church. That's not number one, and here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and label these right now. All right, so now if I go back, I can now add a bunch of these to my routines. So I'm going to come over here to the routines I have. Um I have media booth. We're going to change the scene behavior and let's add the stuff to this. All right. So we're going to add intercom on here, which is going to mean that I need to leave the intercom powered on once I put this in place. And then battery charger doesn't need to be on because we're not going to be charging it while we're in the middle of service. Um, I think that's really all I need from here. And then for our off, I need to add the intercom on there to turn that off. All right? Very simple. Now, let's go over here and look at our... So that's the video system button right there. And let's just see what that does as well, too. Video system... Where's it at? Yeah, so this is here. Media booth. 
when the video system is triggered, it goes to the media booth, which is the button that I was showing you that what we just set. The media booth turns all this stuff on, and that is our group. So let's go up here just to make sure our media booth group. Group name devices. We want to include the intercom and the batteries we don't need to do. So now when we hit this switch that we made, it will turn the intercom system on as well too. Because we don't want that just to be on when it doesn't need to be. All right, and now let's set a schedule for our um, batteries. So what I want to do with this, we don't need this on all the time. So the idea is we'll put new batteries in on Sunday when we change them out. And then we want to power this on on Monday. Actually, no, let's do it on Tuesday because we have choir rehearsal on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we'll turn this on at, I don't know, 1 p.m. That I give it enough time to charge up. And then we'll do it again on, maybe I should move it to Monday. So it'll charge throughout that time. And then... If somebody puts some more batteries in, we'll charge it again on Wednesday and then again on Saturday. All right. So that's the one schedule. Now we want to set the off schedule, power off. We're also going to do it on those same days, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And 10 p.m. should be more than enough time, nine hours to charge. All right, so there we go. All right, so I think that should be about it. So if you have any other questions um, on some of these devices, please let me know. Um, I really like these, and I have the second one. The second one's going to be set up. I still need to decide where I'm going to put it um, because, as you saw, there's no way to do a delay. So I might hold off on installing this one right now um, because – if I put this one in place to handle those other two, the towers, our main audio system, um, they won't be a part of the schedule. What, what has to happen with those is I need to have two separate switches to power that on. So we'll see what I'm going to do with that. Hmm. Still trying to think because, again, we have our sound system set up with buttons at the bottom of the stage. I mean, bottom of the steps so nobody comes into the media booth and they can turn on the whole sound system. If I put two switches here to power both of these, that would work. But I need to wire those into the wall. So I might think so I'm going to hold off on this one, but I'll take you along with me when I decide to do that one. So. I'll, there will be a link in the description to these. I actually got these on sale from Amazon. They're normally $40. I got them for um, $29.99, so $10 off. I'll have a link down below if you're interested in getting them. And just to let you know, those are affiliate links. We get a little kickback from Amazon if you make a purchase, but you don't pay anything different. It just helps fund this channel to where we can do more stuff and bring other quality hardware reviews and other things to y'all. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. And I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month, or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video. Later.